I should do. 20 years ago, I was a much younger aviation geek than I am today. I had a lot more hair, albeit the ginger variety, but at the age of 18, I found myself with my first ever full-time job. And what does an 18-year-old aviation geek do when he gets his full first-time job? But head to your local flying school in Leicester and learn to fly. A few months later and several grand afterwards, I was the holder of a shiny new private pilot's license. It was incredible. I had the freedom to be able to go anywhere I wanted to in the UK within a couple of hours. I could fly a plane. It was absolutely amazing. And then six months later, I met my wife and we bought our first house together and all of a sudden I couldn't afford it anymore. So I just stopped. Twenty years later and I am a much older aviation geek than I was back then. I've got a lot less hair than I had back then as well, but I've also somehow managed to turn being an aviation geek into my full-time job. That's why quite some time ago now I came to this top secret Top Gun Fighter Training Academy just off the M18 near Scunthorpe and a couple of hours of flying later followed by a very long wait for the CAA to sort out the paperwork and I've now got my hands once again on my own private pilot's license and today it's time to go and use it for the first time. This is Bravo Foxtrot, a 1974 Cessna 172. It's going to be my home for the next couple of hours. Let's go flying. Okay, there we go. Engine is started. RPM set as required. Start a warning light has gone off. Radio, good afternoon. Go Bravo Zulu, Bravo Foxtrot, request radio check and airfield information. Yeah, there's uh, no radio in the minute, it's it hands off traffic and uh, yeah, 05, left hand, uh, QNH 1017, with a bit of 5, you're off the Yaki Victor. 05, left hand circuit, Yaki Victor, and QNH 1017, that's gold, Bravo, 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 thank you. There, let's roll. Don't plan to take off then, oi. I've got a bumpy bit there, there we go. There he goes. Confirm with Foxtrot engine zero five to backtrack. Okay, one way's clear. Let's go now. Must take breach as well before we um, get there. So we're going to try and head down towards home and fly over if the weather's all right. All the way down to the bottom of zero five. So this airfield here then is Samtoft in Lincolnshire and it's a very small airfield, you don't have any air traffic control, really. you just kind of talk to them and tell them what you're doing, they give you a bit of information if they've got it. For the most part it's just pretty straightforward and it's much nicer flying out of little airfields like this than big airports like East Midlands like I used to fly off um, after I'd finished my flights at Leicester. Come from this posture, we're going to take at Delta for power check. We're going to swing it round into wind, which is kind of... Okay, parking brake is set. Okay, there we go. Right, so now we need to do our power checks. Um, so we need to position, park into wind, parking brake is set on, RPM is set to 1000. P's and P's all with the green arcs, that's good. RPM, we need to set to 1700 RPM and check the brakes are holding it. Okay, RPM is set, car is set on. And let's set the idle back. Why does it stop? Nobody knows. 800, there we go. Back to 1000, there we go. So now I think something is on the road actually. That little set always downwind, there he goes. So we can go straight away. That's my set. Off. That's off radio, good afternoon, November 7th, Lake Off Golf inbound to you, uh, B33, 40 miles out. Air control, you got one in the circuit, uh, one about to get uh, airborne, uh, got a QH here, one to one to seven, and we're uh, currently using uh, zero 05 left hand, uh, the wind's uh, a little bit all over, but it's saving, slightly saving zero 05. 
We're still playing for 017, uh, we're planning for 23, but we'll uh, go for the right base to into 05, got it, got it. Okay, swing it all the way round. Go Bravo Fox Trot, departing 05. Okay, hey, we were ready. Nice roll. Power is on, T's and P's are in the green, S speed is increasing. And off we go flying, woohoo! 50 knots. V1 rotates, there we go. Climbing out at about 75. to be able to see you on the radar effectively. Um, normally it's Hawk 7000, that's how I always learned in the past, but, um, and that means that basically you're not listening to anybody, you're just kind of goofing around. Um, I, nowadays you have to use these listening squawks when you're listening, you don't have to, but it's recommended. So if I squawk, instead of six, seven, sorry, instead of 7000, I can squawk six, one, seven, zero. I'm squawking 6170, so now the dog has to now listening to them, and if they need to get hold of me, they can be. No apologies for that. No worries, there is no one. Let's do a freedom check. So fuel is on both. Radios are set. We're to Doncaster engine. T's and P's are all in the green. Direction, we're roughly headed in the right direction. And altitude, 1800 feet. QNH1016. Cool. It's so nice to be back in the sky again, flying myself. It's like riding a bike. I can't believe after like 20 odd years of not doing it, I was absolutely petrified the first time I got in a plane again before. And now here I am. Just people going around in a 172, it's just crazy. You just don't forget it. Harris 912, left heading 210 degrees. Left heading 210 degrees, Harris 912. And uh, Aeros 91, would you like a final turn towards uh, the uh, final fix from yourself, or would you like to self navigate from there? Build now, engage. Harris 91, that's understood. And uh, when ready, descend altitude 2,500 feet. You are clear to be on Avram with 02, report established in advance of the procedure. So as I move forward then with the channel, I'm going to be doing quite a lot more of this sort of flying. Not like all the time, but it's going to help me to get to all the places to see some cool aviation stuff to film. Um, Quite a lot of stuff, stuff coming up in the plane, so we'll be able to take you for a little spin from time to time, which will be nice. A couple of aircraft down there in the circuit in Hampstead, so we we'll just keep an eye on them. We're above their um, circuit height anyway at the moment. And we're way out of their ATZ, but um, 
Mr. Good, I need to keep a lookout as we cross the A1. Literally, there's no rain showers anywhere apart from over my village. <laughs> They're going to get soaked, sorry kids. That's my pit when I go off my runs. Crazy, it takes me like an hour to drive to the airfield from home. I get you can fly here where we literally took off about 15 minutes ago and we're here. This is why I'm flying. I can't see them outside, but I can see them at my house, yay! Take some pictures of them as we go over. Okay, 2,000 feet. I can see my house, there we go. Rather as we are now up here. And there's the seaside. Ridlington's over on the left. Coming up to Hornsea. I'm not going to go much further this way because I kind of need to head back because the aircraft's been booked again in about another half an hour. So we'll start pooping in back. But let's go on. 
do a loop over Hornsea and then head back. There's some nasty clouds that way. Some nasty clouds that way. So we're going to come through this little bit here. Fly over the sea to say that I've officially flown over the sea. Whee! And then back to the airfield. What a beautiful, beautiful day. See Bridlington right up there on the distance. Clumber ahead up there. There's a boat out at sea as well. Look at that. There's a seaside. Yay! Oh, would you like to be beside the seaside? Oh, the guy after me is cancelled anyway, so I've got the plane as long as I like. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case the 747 does land long, you may have to uh, break you off. Uh, please, we will require a backdrop or tower all the time you want you to transfer to them. Yeah, they go flying up the coast. Hey, let's circle round to the right. Try and do a couple of touch and goes just to practice my landings because that's a bit that's kind of the most important part, I guess. Once you're taking off, I don't have to get it back on the ground. Um, so let's go and do that. We'll do a couple of circuits and yeah, just for 10 minutes. Ooh, yeah. 10 minutes or so, God, it's bumpy around here. Weird, it's like. Not really any rings, showers around here at all, but never mind. And Fox Tranny, Golf Bravo, Zulu Bravo, Fox Truck, Section 172 inbound, 1,600 feet, 5 miles to the north, inbound for Touch and Go, Sand Off Traffic. So with it, so Sand Off's an interesting one. It's Sand Off radio most of the time, uh, when there's somebody talking, but when it's not, it's just a traffic information service, so you just basically call up where you are, tell them what you're doing, everybody kind of knows where you are. Okay, so brakes are off, undercarriage, uh, undercarriage is attached, mixture is rich, fuel is on both and sufficient for a go-around, instruments are set, QFB 1017, RP is set hot, matches and harnesses, we're all secure, RP is set hot. Birdies down there. Right, it's gonna be fun then. We're gonna land on runway two three. Or don't touch a okay, rather on runway two three. Sand off traffic off rather fox up final two three touch a okay. Around. 
So there we go, back on the ground on terra firma. I quite enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing a load more videos for me nipping about the country. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. <laughs>